Okay, Ooh, one of my favorite questions. Um, we have a we want to find a line that passes through the point negative seven a four, but is perpendicular to the line y equals one half x plus nine. So what I'm going to do to solve this problem? Oh shoot! I didn't even yeah. To solve this problem, what we're going to do is um, I'm going to solve this using uh, slope intercept form. Okay, there's you could also use point slope form, but for this problem, we're going to use slope intercept form. So the one thing what we do is we want to find an equation, right? So we want to find an equation that's going to be in the form of y equals mx plus b. All right, so we need to find a line that's perpendicular. If you remember, perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes, right? So let's just kind of draw like a little fuzzy graph here. Right, if one line is going up and over, the other one's going to be going down and over. And then, so they're going to have the same slope, but they're, it, it's actually going to be the reciprocal of your original slope. And instead of going in the positive direction, it'll go in the negative direction. Or if it was going in the negative direction, it'll now go in the positive direction. So our new slope, our perpendicular slope, if this is 1 half, my new slope is going to be m equals a negative 2 over 1. So when I have my equation, I'm going to say, well, I know that y can equal a negative 2 over 1, which is a negative 2 x plus b. Now remember, b tells us what our y-intercept is. We don't know what the y-intercept is, all right? And this is a horrible example. Um, these are two perpendicular lines, right? And if you look at this, this line has an x-intercept here, or a y-intercept here. This one has a y-intercept there. So yes, perpendicular lines could have the same intercept if they intersect at the intercept, but you'll notice is very rarely are they gonna have the same intercept. So therefore, a lot of students automatically say, oh, well, b is nine. No, b is, nine is the intercept for one of the equations. We wanna find the intercept for the equation that is perpendicular to that line. So to find our value of b, what we have to do is, we know that these two points or our new graph goes through the point negative seven, negative four, okay? So it goes through this point. Therefore, that point is a solution to our equation. So what I can do is, if that's an x and y coordinate, I'm gonna now plug in the x value in for x and plug in the y value in for y. So I get a negative four equals a negative two times negative seven plus b. And then what I can do is now solve for b. So I get negative four equals a positive 14 plus b, subtract 14, and I get a negative 18 equals b. So that is now my new y-intercept for the line that is perpendicular to this line that goes through the point negative seven, negative four. So now I already have my new slope, now I just need to put in my new b. So instead of writing b, I can write minus 18. And that's how you solve for a line that goes through a point and is perpendicular to an equation.